Hi, it's Dwyer. It is July the 18th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. No need for the rest of the intro here because we're just going to talk about two great fighters hopping in the ring and sparring a bit. I came across some uh, tweets from Terrence Crawford um, just to the public where Crawford talked about hopping in the ring with his good buddy Andre Ward. Right now, let me just say, wow, that would be fascinating. I hope they post the video. I think uh, Andre has the better defense. I think Terrence Crawford, of course, uh, is a different guy <laughs> every fight and is a closer, something Ward was not. That would be fascinating footage to watch. But I'm going to use this video for my own agenda uh, and that is to simply point out that the way boxing is currently structured, we're actually uh, not allowing fighters to be their best. So, Andre Ward was roughly the same weight for most of his career. I know those last few fights were uh, at 175, not 168. But understand, Andre Ward really was a staple at 168 pounds. By contrast, Terrence Crawford, of course, has gone up, has won titles in several weight classes, has been undisputed in two different weight classes. Here's the point I want to make. Andre Ward never got the opportunity that Terrence Crawford has had. You know, Crawford, 135, 140, 147, Right, he can gain a few pounds, five pounds, seven pounds, and he could be up in the next weight class. The problem with 168 pounds is as great as Andre Ward was, and he was spectacular, right? He gained weight to get to 175. What's the next floor up from 175, right? Had there been a weight class at 185, Andre Ward could have thought to himself, hey, you know what, uh, I'm still young. I have an opportunity to prove myself in a new weight class. I have an opportunity to win another title. Let me go up to 185. Let me compete there. Right? Understand, 185 would have been 10 pounds up from, 180, uh, from 175. Right? Just 10 pounds up. Boxing so ridiculous these days that the next floor up from 175 is 200. Right? That's how ridiculous it is. Fighters at 168 or 175 don't really have the opportunity, no matter how great they are, to bank multiple titles like the guys do at 135, 140, 147, 154, and 160. Right there, a guy can get hot. Look at all the titles that Canelo has. Look at all the titles that Floyd has. Look at all the titles that Manny Pacquiao has. Right? To me, boxing needs to correct this. It's already started the effort with the Bridgerweight division, Right, which I'm not too fond of, but I understand. At, I believe it's 224. Right, it started the effort with the heavier weights. But you still have these gaps. And these gaps are absurd. Where 175 then jumps to 200. Take a fighter like David Benavides. He's been champion at 168. He just fought at 175, right, folks? There's nowhere to go above that. Think about Bevel. Think about Peterbiev, right? Those guys would have to compete with cruiserweights if they're going to get a belt above light heavy, right? So boxing, let's think this through. The problem with hearing about how many titles a smaller guy has is that it's an unlevel playing field. Right? Smaller guys can gain five weights, uh, gain five pounds, and pick up a title. Right? In the heavier weights, 
you could gain 10 pounds from 175. 10! And not have a division to win a title in. You would have to compete against the cruisers. Now understand, some great fighters have made the jump. We just don't recognize them as much because casual fans are just hearing about weight classes. They're not hearing about weight ranges. So, of course, a Tomas Ademic, please look him up, right? We don't think of Ademic as, you know, that jaw-dropping fighter. But yet, Ademic won titles over a weight range. Maybe that's the way we need to start thinking about these multiple titles, right? Not, he had three titles, right? 135, 140, 147, over a 12-pound range. Contrast that to the range that Tomasa Demick covered. Contrast that, we have a fighter right now doing crazy things like that. Look at Gilberto Ramirez. This is a guy who had the title, I believe, at 168. Now he's a title holder at Cruiser. Folks, that's 200. Right? That is a 32-pound gap. 32 pound gap. Now think about how much more highly we would think of Gilberto Ramirez if you talked in terms of weight range. Right? I need for people to reconsider history based on that. How is it that James Tony was able to fight Michael Nunn and then later in his career was able to go up to heavyweight? to fight and beat Evanda Holyfield, right? Look at not just the number of titles a guy has, but look at the weight range of the divisions, right? The fact that Roy Jones fights James Tony, <laughs> then later is up winning the heavyweight title against John Ruiz, should really open more eyes than it does right now. We just hear about Manny Pacquiao winning all these titles. We don't hear enough about the weight range. Let me close by saying this. <clears throat> you know, I personally feel the odds for Crawford's next fight are a bit skewed. Right? People need to realize that 154 is not 147. Right? But it is interesting to note that Crawford is in the ring against a much bigger Andre Ward in his preparation for that fight, right? There's also a story from the silver medalist from the United States, Torres, uh, heavyweight, about wrestling Crawford and Crawford having the upper hand. Clearly Crawford, who is a closer, hasn't gone the distance in a fight for years, is really strong, right, is one of these guys who, you know, might be able to handle even going past 154. There's talk about him fighting Canelo. You know, the last time I looked, Canelo was fighting at 168, right? I believe that's Crawford's ultimate goal. I believe Crawford, you know, understands the history that would be involved in a fight between him and Canelo. Right? But just understand, as impressive as it is that Crawford has been undisputed in two weight classes, I just want people to consider the fact that Andre Ward didn't have a 185-pound weight class to go to. Right? That fighters like Tomas Ademic, James Tony, Roy Jones won titles in weight classes that are literally dozens of pounds dozens of pounds apart from each other, right? Just food for thought. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.